What's up everybody, it is me King Alpha back at it again with another video for these. Uh, this is basically the last unit I'm covering. Obviously I wanted to cover, you know, the top tier to the bottom tier because obviously this bottom tier, to be fair, is very bottom tier. However, I think you guys can use these guys pretty well, but we'll talk about that in a second. So coming over to their stats, they max out at level 16. Their leadership is very low, 165. You only get 12 of these guys, so you know be aware of that. There's not many of these guys. And you know the tactics and offensive abilities are actually pretty interesting. So um, <laughs> I can't wait to actually show you guys some of the things that I do like about um, their tree. Their tree is very interesting. You can take them either way. It's pretty fun. All right, so terrain effects. Uh, they have bad, fair, 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 and then good. And they only have one formation, which is the line formation, and you don't unlock another formation in their veterancy at all. Um, their unit traits, they have Hellfire. Superior to other incendiaries, Hellfire causes greater fire damage and can even burn through heavy armor. Now, when they say this, I would just want to say it can go through the armor, but it's not as effective as people think. Um, when it comes to heavy armor, it takes them a while in order to actually set a blaze, if anything, and it does do fire damage. It's pretty decent fire damage, but it's not as as high fire damage as even like not even close to the fire damage of even the new T5 unit, which they actually did change the name of it. So I, I forgot exactly what those guys are called now, too. So the fire damage here, you know, just think about it. Th these guys will definitely melt anything when it comes to range or low, like low or medium armor units, heavy armor. It will take a little bit, a little while in order for these guys to actually be doing some decent damage um scorched earth improved hellfire can light um can set a light to the ground forcing enemies to flee the area so this does allow for the ground to be burned so if you throw it at the ground it has a little um it shows on the in the gameplay that i'll be presenting tomorrow the um the flame around it basically creates like a little area uh, or aura and it has an area that basically sets a blaze and you know it fears them and it makes them go into a little like panic however it, it doesn't really do much damage <laughs> um but these guys do not have any personal weapons and cannot fight in melee so you definitely want to be careful with these guys now their unit orders you have throw which they do just throw and they ignite wherever they are and then they have rain of fire this unit throws their hellfire grenades at the designated point and the hellfire will set a uh, flame to the ground and igniting the fire on the enemy so this is the hellfire that they do where they throw it they set set the oh whoa holy crap okay that scared the crap out of me i don't know what happened but um yeah uh so basically uh <laughs> what happens is they set fire to the ground and the unit does go into a little panic now let's get into their veterancy and i'll show you guys their little uh, basic attributes over here because it is very important i'm going to be showing you guys the top line first so it increases the health by six percent then you got increased movement speed their movement speed is really fast 6.2 um then you got uh in reduces range damage taken by 15 percent which is actually pretty high you got hell hellfire now sits uh light to the ground burning for three seconds so this basically allows you guys to when you throw that hellfire it allows it to burn for longer um then you get increases burning damage by eight percent which is basically 24 percent over here and then hellfire burns on the ground for a further three seconds which is very nice then you get over here you get six percent extra movement speed and then you get increases duration of burning by two seconds so they they constantly are trying to get the burning damage up um, as best as possible then on the bottom tree you get increases uh the maximum range by five meters and then you get increased ammo by 10 percent now if you really think about it the range is at 30 and the ammo is at 36 keep this in mind guys we're gonna reset this now their health is at three thirty three you know three thousand five hundred keep this in mind we're gonna reset this now if you guys wanted to go back and look at it and uh, pause it you know feel free here we go we're gonna be going the bot line so now after we get these two which increases the range already so the range is at 30 um you get the increase in ammo so it's at 36 their health is now going to get increased again by another nine percent so they're almost at four thousand health you get an increase in range again for five so now they're at 35 then you get each level increases blunt damage from hellfire by 200 which is actually really and the reason why i say this is because it increases it by 600 
reason why it's so important is because of the fact that a lot of units do not have blunt defense like their blunt defense is very low these guys can rip through that if you go bottom line compared to top line then you get also 40 percent extra ammo going down here as well so now the ammo is at 49 compared to the 36 that you had and then you get increases weapon to maximum um, range by 10% again. So you have a maximum range of 45, which is actually pretty decent. And I feel like you can use these guys kind of like javelins or something. Maybe chuck them some bombs at like people that are like just sitting there with like their archers or something. Or people are like are trying to come through a siege tower. You check these guys in. Like I said, these guys are not going to be the best versus high tier units, but they're still going to be pretty decent. Um, so now you do get movement speed which is a 5.9 movement speed and then you get reduced damage taken by five percent so looking at all these stats i prefer the bottom line um and to be honest i don't prefer this unit really at all unless i haven't really used it against like they are pretty destructive i will say that they're very destructive with their hellfire however they don't typically get many shots they get about three to four shots and you know you're going to constantly have to be sending these guys back to the supply point back to the supply point you got to think of these guys as imperial jabs whereas imperial jabs you know you can get maybe three throws or two throws depending on you know the doctrines or whatever you have on these guys so you guys got to treat these guys basically as the jav units of um you know season uh, of season five um these guys they won't be as destructive when it comes to obviously jab damage however they still will be able to maybe cause some destructive things on siege towers or people trying to push a point and you just chuck these bombs constantly at these guys because once you chuck them you can chuck them again and then you have to like wait like five seconds you can chuck chuck them again so the cooldown is actually pretty low on both of these uh the throw and the rain of fire um let's put the actual attire on these guys um they actually look pretty sick if you actually put just a um a little you know armor vest on them and then let's take off that and let's put just the helmet the helmet is obviously a little bit weird because of the space little in the blow but then if we put the whole thing they actually look pretty cool so maybe you can hide these guys um their formation is a line formation so i feel like they will be very vulnerable because of the fact that you know usually when there's only one formation of a unit it's kind of sucks you know you can't really hide these guys as you would want um compared to other units let me know what you guys think about these guys i think they're decent for maybe in the beginning tier but when you're using these guys versus the like higher tier units like uh, the shields and everything they're gonna do a scare but you would need to use these guys very tactically if you're gonna even want to try and put these guys in tw because you know these guys compared to anything else that is in the game right now any tier 4 or higher is you know it's not gonna get really scared of these militia guys <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about these guys i'll be showing showcasing some gameplay tomorrow about how these guys work how they they actually fare against units and everything and maybe i actually put these guys against maybe some lower tier units so you guys can actually see how effective they can be against lower tier compared to high tier so I'll see you guys. Let me know what you guys think about these guys. And uh, deuces.